Little Canoeist Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide. And today, we're going to start doing a two-part series on wood splitting. It's a beautiful fall day, and for a lot of us, that's what we're doing. So, I'm going to do this in two segments. The first segment is going to be all about the prep and the setup for a good wood yard and how to keep it safe. And then the second segment is going to be all about the technique. Okay, so the first thing about a wood yard is footing and clearance space. You want to be able to take the axe like this and you want to be able to go like this all the way around and not hit anything. You want to be able to go like this all the way up and not hit anything. That's key because a lot of times there's like cables for bird feeders and things like that. And, um, and then I taught a lot of little yunkers how to split wood like this. Here's another key safety thing if you're learning. All right. I'll also photograph this. Big stump, smaller stump, shorter stump, okay? But one up to the other. I've also got a little board here if it's not level, if the two, if the two shouldn't wobble. So if you gotta do a shim underneath, do a shim underneath. Both stumps should be solid though, okay? So safety thing. You're going to put, the log you're going to split is going to go on the back one. You're going to stand there. You're going to measure out your swing. If any tigger bounce happens or anything unexpected, when you're swinging at this, this axe head is going to land here, away from you, away from any legs, away from any feet, just like that. So when you're learning, and you're learning how to key in on this piece of wood, and it's like golf, you are going to never take your eyes off where you want that blade to go, okay? When you're learning that, it helps to have the two stumps set up like this. The other thing the two stumps helps is, if you have kind of a little squirrely piece of wood that's not real great at standing up, you can do this and it'll help stand it up. As you get better, you can split here sometimes, split there sometimes, depending on how you feel and what you wanna do. But the whole safety prep factor is big stump, smaller stump, butt them up, and make sure the, that the heights are different. Here's another tip for practicing. Go shorter lengths, okay? It's going to be much easier, mechanically advantage-wise, to split the log on the left as opposed to the log on the right, okay? So when you're practicing, cut shorter lengths till you get good at it, okay? Now, this is like golf. You are looking at that piece of wood. You're not looking at anything else. Wherever you look, that's where that axe blade is going to go. That beautiful stove you see in my videos when I'm inside, that's a Glenwood 408 with a roll top. When I first moved here for nine years, that was my only working oven, okay? All I've ever heated with is wood. This is a yearly thing for me, about splitting about a quart of wood for that Glenwood 408 with a roll top. Okay, so stay safe. And as my dad always said, don't ever get mad at a piece of wood because you're the one that's going to lose that one. I'm Lisa D. Hart, and you've just spent three minutes with a main guide.